Welcome to the Train Easy um, Getting Started tutorial. In this series, we're going to be um, taking you through how to set up your Train Easy application from start to finish. So, to begin, head over to traineasy.net, and this is the home page. There's a free trial button. Now, um, we offer a free seven day trial for you to completely test out um, most of the features on train easy before committing so if you click free trial you can enter your name I'll enter um, John Smith um, let's make it John train easy net and a password all right so uh, I've hit um, enter or sign up after you register you'll be taken to um, the setup page. Now this is a setup wizard. Um, it's still loading so let's just wait a bit. But it's a setup wizard that enables you um, set up the initial settings for your Train Easy application. Now you know the whole idea, the whole idea of Train Easy is that it gives you your own separate um, branded application complete with your own um, URL or your own domain that your students can use to access your um, TrainEasy instance or your TrainEasy application. Now, um, by default, each uh, um, URL that you're given, the free URL, has .traineasy.net appended to it. Now, later on, you can actually change this to use your own um, URL, your own custom URL, if you're on a plan that supports it. Um, the plans that support custom domain names are from the professional plan and up. So, um, so let's start by entering in uh, a username. It's a minimum of three characters. So let's just make it um, John's training. And let's hit next. All right, now we are to create our first admin account. Now, notice you, you may wonder why we're creating a new account after we've already entered in our name, email, and um, password on the previous account. Now, in the previous um, page. Now, that, um, those login creden with credentials that we created at the beginning were for managing your billing account. So, with those credentials, you would use that to um, manage your subscription, like set up your domain name, um, view your payment history for your subscription, and, and things like that. However, this um, create your first admin account is for creating your uh, um, an administrator account where you that you would use on your Train Easy application itself. Now, on your Train Easy application, you can have multiple admin accounts, which is why we say create your first admin account. So you, you can have multiple admin accounts, multiple instructor accounts. So this one, this um, page just enables you to create your first account because you have to have at least one to be able to log into the back end. Now the back end is where you'll get to create your courses, um, view your students, manage payments, and all that. It's very different from your billing login, which we created as, as the first step. So now let's create um, the first admin account. I'll just say John. Um, Smith, uh, it's cool. I can use you can use the same credentials you created used at the for your login. It doesn't really matter. Um, all right. Okay. So let's click next. All right. Now here we enter in some basic app settings. I would say um, John's training. Uh, now your company email. Let's just make it info at johnstraining.com, and um, you select your default country and currency. It tries to detect this automatically based on where you're located. If it doesn't, just um, select from the list. So now let's click finish. Let's wait for uh, the setup to be complete.
Okay, now our setup is complete. Um, it takes us to the setup complete page where it says, congratulations, your app has been set up successfully. So now, on this page, it says over here that your application URLs are as follows. One is the student site, the other is the admin backend. So if you remember on the um, setup wizard, we created our first admin account. So going to this link is where we're going to, on this link is where we're going to use those, um, the, the, the admin accounts that we created. Now, the student site is the public facing um, portion of your training is the application. This is where your students are going to um, log in and view your courses, um, make payment, and um, ETC. The back end is where you and your instructors are going to manage your entire application. So it's where you create your courses, view your students, and where your instructors too can create courses, view students, respond to inquiries, um, discussions, manage the forum, and everything is that Trainizy has to offer. So let's start by clicking the student site. Um, okay, so let's wait for it to load. Okay, so this is the student front end. Uh, as you can see, our default site name that we create that we um, entered in the setup wizard is listed is um, placed here. So if you scroll down, this is the default theme for your Trainizy application. Trainizy um, supports multiple themes, so in your back end, you can actually change this theme. But this is the default theme. So um, let's go back to our setup complete page. And now let's click the admin back end. And let's wait for it to load. All right, so this is the admin back end. Let's enter our, um, our, our login credentials. Now here, like I said earlier, we'll enter the credentials that we used as on the, that we um, created on the setup wizard where we created our first admin account. So I'm going to make it join at traineasy.net password. And let's hit login. So this is your train easy admin backend dashboard. So um, over here, we can see some few um, icons. This is the active student. It shows you the number of um, active students you have on your account. I have online courses, active sessions, and classes. Um, oh, if you scroll down, there are some panels here that just give you a view overview of some of your activity. Here you can see your um, most recently created courses, um, recently enrolled students, and some payments that you've recently received. So let's go over the options on the left-hand section here. The first option is, let's, r let's run through each option. The first option is courses and sessions. Over here, you get to create all your courses. Um, over here, we have students. Over here, the classes, which you, um, where, you, where you create classes for your courses. This is your video library, where you get to upload videos. This is um, attendance, homework, um, revision notes, downloads, um, discussions, tests, certificates, um, your blog reports um, feature, the file manager, articles, which are basic static articles for your site, um, the settings where you get to customize your site, and a link to the user guide. So that's it basically for setting up your um, Trainizy application and logging into the back end and also viewing your front end. So in the next lecture, we'll go over how to customize your training is the application.